We'll move on to uh, public hearings. Item 24A. Conduct a public hearing to receive and discuss public input and comments on redistricting, the proposed illustrative redistricting plan and alternate plans. Thank you. Gunnar, I know you're coming forward. I, I would like to go ahead. Go ahead and get set up. I would like to mention that as these discussions continue to move forward and and they are at this point discussions and, and public hearings that we had uh, had been presented uh, an, an alternate uh, map to consider at the previous meeting and in the pre-meeting tonight it was a consensus of this group um, based on a number of different issues and we're not going to go into all that here necessarily but that we would not be considering that second revised map that was uh, presented to last meeting. So we have before us uh, our, our original illustrative, illustrative map, um, and then Gunnery, I believe, has got some information tonight on another opportunity. Good evening, Council. It's good to be with you uh, and the citizens of Mesquite again. <clears throat> we are moving towards the process of a final adoption of a I'm sure uh, final adoption of a single member district uh, electoral system for the city council elections going forward and as you mentioned um, we have uh, the designated illustrative plan which the council drew in a drawing session uh, collaboratively uh, the revised plan that followed that has been dismissed by council but we did also receive a new plan this afternoon that was submitted by mr. Brown uh, on behalf of the NAACP uh, we were able to we told you in the pre-meeting that we needed to get a little bit more information about that plan before we could present it to you we were able to confer with mr. Brown uh, in between and have now been able to load that plan up and, and can present it uh, for you all to look at tonight and for any uh, public input so what we'll do is uh, unfortunately we haven't had a chance to put it into a PDF yet because we just finalized it this evening but we can toggle I have Sherry McCall here with me she can toggle between our uh, illustrative plan and the new plan that re we received this evening um, they are very similar you'll note when you look at them um, there are some small changes um, that we can show you uh, from a demographic standpoint they're very similar uh, deviations are still within the accepted norms and so um, those are available for you all to, to see and for the public to comment on this evening. Thank you. So once they get that up and running, you'll kind of be able to give us the different breakdowns of the new plan versus the other plan. Certainly. Okay. Technical difficulties. we go excellent thank you Brenda and we would have set that up ahead of time but we were literally just finishing it up right before uh, we walked in here so this is hot off the presses so to speak <laughs> So this is the revised plan, and we can look at the, uh, the designated plan in a moment. Uh, the changes uh, that have occurred here are primarily um, in District 6 along the left side. One thing I'll mention while we're, we're getting this set up is obviously we're going to um, put this in a, a more viewer friendly format and provide that to the city um, so that can be put we'll get with Mr. Larson in terms of making sure that gets up on the website and also put up uh, on the Facebook page. 
But here we are, uh, District 6, although it's a little difficult to see, is the green shading. Uh, District 5 is purple, and then 4 is in gray. So the changes between uh, Mr. Brown's plan and the illustrative plan are primarily focused um, in District 6. At the bottom there, some of what was in District uh, 6 went into District 5. And then because of that, we had to move a little bit of uh, 5 into 4 there. And that, that's basically the changes. Uh, in terms of the demographic shift, um, we saw a little bit of an increase in the overall deviation, but still well within the, the acceptable norms, uh, and very slight shift, uh, less than uh, or about two hundredths of, a, of a, per, a percent in terms of the demographic shift in those areas. So that, that section right there is the, is the part that was changed. So the top section that's in gray by Cartwright was originally in 6. It was originally in 6 and it went to 4. Okay. And then the next section that was originally in 6 moved to 5. Correct. Is that correct? Were there any other changes in... And six or five other than this one quadrant. Okay. That's it. Okay. Council, I know that's the first time we've had a chance to see this. Mr. Miklos. Thank you, Mayor. So, um, pulling, I guess, the purple area out of six and putting it in five and then pulling that small little part um, from six into the gray part that's four, did you say that that in, in, increases the deviation of the, the districts? And so, so explain, explain to everybody what increasing the deviation means sure. so they understand what that is. When, uh, when we draw districts, we try to, as closely as possible, get an even distribution of population in each district. We want the, the, each district to have roughly, as best we can, the same amount of population. So just by a little bit, but this goes a little further away from that equal distribution of population well the overall distribution that right. is the from the the difference between the biggest amount of distribution or deviation and the smallest amount increases slightly the, slightly slightly right yeah so um, demographically does this increase or decrease african-american or hispanic um, uh, percentages in, I don't, I mean, four, does anybody live in that little corner in four? There's very little, uh, if any, population in that little corner. So really we're talking five and six. Does it increase or decrease Hispanic and African American uh, percentages significantly in either district? No. Okay. Uh, it's about 0.02% change, one way or the other. And, and Mayor, I would just... I hope that we could hear from the presenter of the map as to, you know, well, why, sure. so I could understand the, the basis for it. But I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. And we'll have that opportunity. Any other questions on this particular new presentation? And I understand, Mr. Brown, do you, do you mind coming up and just sharing a little bit about um, kind of what we were looking at here and... Thank you, sir. If you don't mind, give us your name and address for the record, too, please. My name is Henry Brown, 211 Delta Drive. Thank you. That map right there is a map that uh, I got with my board, and we decided to present. At the time that map was was put together, you know, we was under the impression that, um, you know, map two was going to be a part of the uh, discussion and the argument but this map here based on uh, some of the folks that I have spoken with just like you Mary, I went on a listening tour and um, they had some regards to what was going on on the lower end of 20 uh, the corridor down there where the houses and stuff are going to be mm -hmm. built uh, we was more than less looking at 
um, how this would affect uh, the votership uh, going forward, the projections, you know, with new housing and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, being put together. So as you can see, as the uh, contractor, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for helping me with that. Uh, the system that I used wasn't as thorough as you guys' systems were, and you were able to uh, help me to put the, uh, the streets in there where it can be visible to the, the people here in the council. But uh, the deviations, uh, you're not going to see a big difference in the deviation, uh, the votership. Um, it may vary just a little bit. But, um, but like I said, you know, uh, we put that map together to try to um, make sure that the people that were interested in uh, the, the, the future projection and um, of our districts and, the, and of District 6, you know, and District 5 was... Uh, was um, was uh, you know was was pretty much uh, on point with Mr. Brown. If I could, okay. um, sure. thanks, Mayor. Um, so, if I understand your analysis, you believe that there's going to be future potential development, especially in District uh, potentially six, uh, and because of that, you'd like to pull a little bit off and and put it into five. Is that yeah, kind of a summary? Basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate that. And I want to thank you and I want to thank the NAACP for uh, drawing a map and, and fostering conversation uh, about what our electoral districts will be going forward. Uh, and I, I hope it will set some minds at ease that as development occurs, we'll catch that with the 2020 census and some other legislative body. We'll have to redo all this fun <laughs> stuff uh, and, and get to look at all of it again. But yeah. what is important about this process is that uh, it's going to create standards. It's going to create rules or precedents about how legislative bodies like a city council draws these districts. Uh, and I think that's why I'm, I'm really appreciative of my colleagues uh, for, for pulling a flawed map with flawed intent uh, with, right. with map two. Uh, and so, uh, again, just thank you and thank the board of the NAACP for drawing this map and helping foster uh, conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Miklos. Thank you. Well, I want to echo uh, Councilman Casper's uh, thanks for bringing another map and going through it. Um, as I've said repeatedly, um, the more maps, the better. And it gives us something to talk about and go through. Uh, so there's... In my mind, there's nothing wrong with any map. We don't have to vote on a map, but we get to talk about all these maps, and talking yeah. about it more is better. Um, just like when um, I, I didn't like the revised map um, because I thought New Market was an arbitrary line and it divided uh, a neighborhood of interest, um, I, I will say that I, I see a boundary line created on Brookside um, separating what looks like a neighborhood um, and I mean I think that that is a neighborhood that is generally similar in nature it's actually uh, Pioneer what that road is Pioneer Road oh I okay just I see Pioneer down and drops down gotcha yeah, yeah. so yeah, Teal Wood and, 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 you know, the adjacent areas, that seems to be a, a similar neighborhood with similar interests. And I'm not saying I reject the divide outright, mm -hmm. but I will tell you my, one of my main concerns is keeping neighborhoods that are cohesive together in the process to not dilute their impact on being able to elect a council member in a single member district process. Um, so can you, you let me know the rationale for that boundary line other than, and, and I appreciate it, other than trying to redistribute some of the land areas in anticipation of the growth along I-20. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, um, when we uh, put this together, uh, a lot of issues were uh, discussed. And, and you know, when you're looking at these lines, you know, you really want to try to do what is best for the Mm -hmm. Community, you want to try to do what's best for cohesive neighborhoods, and uh, you know, like I said, this is just our proposed map. You know, since number two is is, is out the door, um, you know, I, I would wholeheartedly endorse. You know, if 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 it come to the point where neighborhoods are, 
you know, that to have similar uh, values and similar uh, perspectives and cohesiveness is there. You no, know, I, I would pull my map, you know, uh, in sake of uh, map one. Right. You know, and I'm, I'm not trying to get you to pull the map. I understand what you're saying, but I, I, I'm, saying I'm, that I'm open for, you know, for... Right. Seriously, all I'm, all I'm trying to figure out is it looks like you put a boundary line there. Yes. And is there a reason for that, or was it just sort of you're trying to get some more land into five and redistribute the land? And I understand that that's a legitimate purpose, yeah. uh, but I, I will tell you, I'm, I'm trying to avoid breaking neighborhoods yeah with the same or similar cohesive interests apart, that's all. Right. Not trying to get, pull the map, don't pull the map, that's totally up to you. Um, but I just, I, that's my objective, is trying to keep neighborhoods that are together, together. Right. But that wasn't the intent of our... Um... Mr. Brown, maybe I can interject. Is it because Pioneer was a major roadway that yes, you selected? Yes, exactly. That? Okay. You know, in, 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 uh, in adjacent to... Um, you know, 635 and Cartwright and coming come around the corridor there, you know, um, um, I, we felt that that was a good place to, to draw a line, you know, to show that, that different, that adage, if you will, uh, for um, District 5, you know, in relation to future projections um, going forward in District 6. So I'm happy about everything, y'all. I ain't, I ain't no shit about y'all. <laughs> I want you to know it. Long map two is out of there. We can get with the first proposal, Mr. Tandy, or we can go with this one, which is almost, I ain't going to say identical, it's semi-identical. You know, sure. it, it don't matter to me at this point. Councilman so I'm sure Archer. we're going to be discussing other things going forward in regards to these maps, but I'm, I'm in a good place right now, and I appreciate you guys for give me an opportunity Thank to you. Mr. Brown, um, several weeks ago you had mentioned to me that you wanted to propose a map. Yes, sir. And so just recently when the revised map had come up and there was some discussion of, of not going with the revised map, which I, I wholeheartedly agree that we didn't need to use that map when we made that decision tonight, exactly. uh, I had said I want to be careful not to move too fast because you had said you were going to propose a map, so yes, I'm glad that you did bring this tonight, and that we're having a chance to have uh, a little, some opportunity to, to see some other plans and, and some other views and perspectives. So thank you for, for following through with that. Um, one thing I would ask of you that I had asked uh, the mayor and our staff tonight with regards to the, the plan that we did shelve was any of the residents that had uh, voiced these in, this input to you uh, to represent them. I'm thankful that you're representing them. Uh, if, if they wouldn't mind maybe sharing their thoughts as well, that would help me a lot on any of these plans just to hear a little bit from some of the residents of, you know, why this, why that. So if any of them were available for the next meeting, please encourage them to come speak to us. But I also appreciate you coming out tonight to uh, represent this plan. Thank you, Mr. Hodge. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Any other comments or questions for Mr. Brown? Okay. Thank you for coming forward. Thank you. This time I'd like to open up the public hearing. We also have some cards here some, for some people that uh, if, they, if they still wish to speak. Uh, Ms. Wally? You've already given your name and address, so just your name will be fine. <laughs> All right. I'm Elizabeth. Um, I have not been in person at the meetings on redistricting so far, but I've been following the videos. And I loved all the discussion that you've been having uh, that culminated in the illustrative map. Looked like a lot of thought went into the boundaries and that would keep neighborhoods together and make sense for the voters. And I really appreciate that. I did like the, uh, the map that the NAACP brought forward because they were thinking about future build out. Now that's something I really hadn't heard and I think that was, as a, an interesting concept. But I do have one request where the illustrative map is concerned or any map that's eventually approved, and that's the numbering system for the districts. Um, our city is kind of long and narrow and laid out north to south, and it just, it, and the districts are kind of aligning that way as well. But the way the numbers are now, it doesn't flow. 
uh, right now, the northernmost district is District 3, and southwest of that is District 1, and due south is District 2, and due south of District 2 is District 4. And that makes it very hard for the voters to keep track. In all my life, I've struggled with the fact that I live in the northernmost district, but it's called District 2. And so I'm hoping that when you finalize this, that maybe you will rethink that numbering system and make it in a way that will be most easy for the voters to identify with their district. I think that's a great idea. We might okay. want to flip it, and you could be in six. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that will be very good. I'm sorry. Wait, don't, don't run off. There's a couple oh, of... Oh, no. I, 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 was, uh -huh. I was just going to agree with that. Yeah, you know, why not? Well, it's a uh, this is your right, chance. Right, right now, the district I represent is one. Yes. But then if I were to run for re-election and got re-elected, it would be two. Right. One is sort of to the northwest, but right. the north one right. is three. And so I right. agree with that. I mean, it would make more sense sort of yeah. from north to south yes. and end with six <laughs> in the far south. And, yes. and I was thinking... I was thinking that, too. I was trying to figure out when I could ask that. So, right. yeah, I appreciate that. For the next 30 or 40 years, we would really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I'll just agree. Uh, it, it is the number one district, uh, Elizabeth. So, uh, yeah. Don't struggle with it. Uh, it is a good point. <laughs> Thank you. I also have Ron Ward. Mr. Ward, good evening. Name Name and address, please, sir. Ron Ward, 430 Running Brook Lane. Thank you. Uh, you guys took the thunder out of all my paper. Okay, you know that, don't you? Uh, so I'll just give you a little rainstorm, just to put it out there. Um, good evening, guys. Thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening on the redistricting map. Process. Psst. I was not in favor of Prop B, the single-member district change to the charter. However, it was approved by over 75% of Mesquite citizens, and now it's the law of the land. I'm also against gerrymandering. I'll use the following working definition of gerrymandering. Drawing voting districts to favor a select group or constituents or any elected official or to favor any citizen seeking elected office in the future is gerrymandering. Gerrymandering runs rampant in our country. Gerrymandering has negatively affected citizens in state and congressional elections. Matter of fact, the last election maps drawn by our state legislature adversely affected Box Springs, Sunnyvale, and Mesquite. Drawing election maps to favor a particular elected official or a select group of citizens is wrong. You as a council approved for a consultant to draw an illustrative map with a set of criteria where none of the criteria included considering where current or future elected officials lived. The citizens of Mesquite overwhelmingly voted for single member districts. I don't think they voted for the council to choose to gerrymander those districts. Well, there was a couple paragraphs in there <laughs> that included map two. But I'm just laying this before you because other maps could come. Right. And so, please, don't gerrymander the districts. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your comments. Anyone else wishing to, anyone else wishing to uh, speak on under item 24 for our public hearing? And please come forward if you do. We um, we have another consideration here, um, unless the council has something that they want to propose tonight. We can um, not do item B, and we will have this next meeting. Yes, sir. Mayor, I just want to just make a sidebar comment and say that when we first started talking about this many, many months ago, gosh, it's been over a year, um, probably June of... 17, um, you know, my primary desire to, to look at the charter was for term limits, and then we began to have some other discussions, and um, Councilman Casper uh, brought up uh, single member districts, which we're uh, in the middle of tonight. And um, as was said earlier, I'm just, I'm just proud that, uh, to personally, to, to say that I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this process. This is a very historic process 
for our electoral system in Mesquite, Texas. Uh, I do appreciate Councilman Casper's passion and work on this issue from day one and uh, other council members as well. But uh, this is a big thing that we're doing, and regardless of what your views are on this process of yay or nay, uh, I'm just proud that we're a part of this. And I think, um, as I've said before, regardless of how the lines are drawn, if you as a citizenry have high expectations for the future single member district council people that will be representing you, that's what's going to make the difference is have a high expectation of how they'll serve you. So I just want to say that, Mayor, and thank you thank for the you. opportunity. No problem. Thank you. So we will move on item B uh, next meeting. Yes, sir. Gunner? I was just going to say again that we'll get you the, the formal documents on these plans and so that they can also be put out uh, for everybody to review, and then we'll have them back for you, both plans back for you uh, for December the next meeting. 7th. December 3rd. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad we got your computer hooked up there, too. Yeah, yeah, it makes it much easier when we can see the pictures, right?